Hey, what's up everyone? Grand evening, grand evening. Make sure you tap the screen whenever you come in. Make sure you tap the screen as you come in, guys. Appreciate it. from Missouri. What's up, CL Fields? How you doing? What's up, Alpha Slayer? What's up? How's you guys evening going? What's up? How's your evening going? Gina, how you doing? What's up? From Ohio, Zahur. Zahur is in the house. Zahur is in the house. It's going pretty good. Acosta, I can't complain. I'm doing better. I'm doing a lot better. I was down with this cold for a couple of days, about nine, ten days, but getting a lot better. How are you guys living? Share the live, like the live if you can. I am doing readings, guys. I'm doing tarot readings. Uh, I have a runic, a runic tarot deck, as well as uh, your unknown tarot deck. Okay. So if you guys would like a reading, uh, I'm doing readings tonight for about an hour. So I'm trying to get off of here about ten minutes after eight. But I just wanted to come on because I was feeling a lot better, and I wanted to. See if I can help you guys get your get your weekend started off to the right foot, and you know next week will be an even better week for you. How much? Uh, it's a donation. I'm not really putting a price on it tonight. Uh, my cash app is in, on my bio. It's Chris F1973, and I'm just doing general readings. Uh, if you would like a mediumship reading, let me know and I'll see if I can connect with a loved one for you. How's it going? Uh, uh, how you how you pronounce your name? Alex, Alex. I'm just going to say Alexis. <laughs> I'm just going to pronounce it that way. Zahor, you want a reading? Okay. So I'm going to do a tarot reading because you didn't specify whether you wanted a mediumship reading. So I'll do a tarot reading for you. Okay. But I am accepting donations. If you guys want to give donations, I appreciate it. Hello, uh, she fine. What's going on? How you doing? So her, if, if you would like to give a donation, uh, my cash app is uh, Chris F1973. If you are able to give a donation, I appreciate it. Le Brittany, how you doing? Okay, guys, okay. So, Zuhor, get ready to pull a card for you. Let you know what's going on with you as well. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, Zahor. Okay, you have the Page of Wands. You have the moon and the world. Okay. So you got three major arcana uh, cards here that I put for you. So you have a lot going on with you. I sense the energy. Uh, so the page of wands, curiosity, defiance, knowing what you want, learning a new approach, beginner's mind. So you have a lot of curiosity, especially when it comes to uh, your ancestors, your um, connecting to your guides, wondering if you're on the right path or doing the right things. And then the moon comes up as well. So with the moon card, the moon card, it... When you look at this, it's like a lot of opposition that you have. So it may be some things that's coming towards you and you don't know how to deal with it. And it's like you're fighting with yourself. Um, let me see the moon, the moon, the moon. Just to get a little bit more clarity. The moon warriors appear a lot in conflict, right? And that's why I say it seems like you have a lot. I'm sorry, the moon card. Uh, uh, it appears locked in conflict under lunar eclipse. The warrior is left. The warrior that's left is called Hothorius and is almost completely engulfed in shadow. So it seems like the shadow part of yourself, the self that you haven't embraced the things that you have been trying to, you know, hide in the shadow, you know, it's, it's kind of like it's weighing on your mind. You're kind of facing the you come to a fork in the road with the with the situation of should I address it or should I let it go? You know, because it's, it's really it's really not that significant. But at the same time, it is significant because it's going to come back up later on down the road. So those are things that you have to deal with. OK, you can't just sweep them up under the road, up under the you know rug and forget about it. And then you're dealing with the world as well. So with the world card, just to get a little bit more clarity. So the world card, <clears throat> um, so it's saying that reintegration, feeling complete, job well done, milestone achieved, giving back to your community. So as well as there's been some things that you've completed, right, this past year uh, that you have kind of like received accolades for. It could be school. It could be uh, something dealing with a decision that you made. You know what I mean? Like it could be maybe starting a new job or starting a new uh, relationship. Right. So you, you're patting your back. You're patting yourself on the back for that accomplishment. However, there is something else that comes up that you're hiding in the shadows. It's something that you really don't want to deal with something that you may have been thinking about, whether, you know, thinking whether you should go forward or not, but also the page of one saying, hold up now, you know that you, you have, you have to deal with this situation because this could possibly be holding you back, you know, be courageous within yourself and know that, you know, God got you. And as well as, you know, uh, uh, your ancestors got you. OK, so does that make sense? Does that kind of is it kind of hitting on something that you're personally dealing with? You're welcome. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Spirit always know best. So, you know, connect with your, your guides. Connect. Get into spirituality, you know, and really take it serious because that's what's going to help you make your decisions in life. And you'll be able to see the things that's going on before they actually resurface. You know what I mean? So you'll know how to deal with it, family and job. Okay. Yep. So I feel like you, it seems like you either went to a new position or have a new job and it's something that you haven't expressed or talked about with your family, something that's going on personally with you or maybe how you feel about someone in the family. And you've tried to, you've tried to put that behind you and know that it's something that you need to address so you can move forward in life. You are, you are in Africa. Okay. Okay. That's what I feel. Your sister. Okay. Yeah. Iron things out with your sister. You know, have that discussion. Have that talk with her. <laughs> I think she's waiting on that conversation, but she's just waiting for you to come out and talk about it. Women are very intuitive and they kind of know. You know what I mean? They kind of know. I, yeah, I really don't need the cards. I really don't. <laughs> I use the card for like a, a crutch for a confirmation, but I already know. You know what I mean? Intuitively, I already know. <laughs> you never told anything. Yeah, you got to talk to her. You got to let her know that you're out of the country if that's the situation. Because if something happens, you know, they know how to get in contact with you. They know how to get you help. If you're away, last week we fought. Okay, yeah, you got to let them know that, hey, I forgive you. I'm sorry. You know, let's, let's, whatever we were fighting about, it doesn't make sense for us to keep holding grudges or, or hold this over our head. Let's move forward. Let's iron out whatever it is we had a disagreement about. Let's move forward. You know, I'm, I may be out of the country. You may be, you know, further away. You know, you may be in the same country, but... If you guys are not seeing each other and talking to each other, time goes by so fast. You don't have time to really get into big arguments because we're the, the earth is under judgment. And so many people are passing away. So many people are uh, having ailments, sicknesses. And, you know, you don't want to get to a point where where they're in a situation where you want to apologize and for them to hear your voice and for them to hear the sincerity in your heart, but they are not conscious and able to hear you, okay? Would anybody else like a reading? So Zahor, do what you need to do, and uh, thank you for allowing me to read you. No problem. Okay, Alpha. Okay, Alpha, I got you. And like I said, if you guys would like to give a um, to give a donation, let me put the my cash app here in the comments. All right. don't have cash up that's okay that's okay that's all right that's all right brother you know I just I just want to do you that favor I know that if you if you had it you know that you would submit it uh, I also have PayPal so if you want to look me up on PayPal if you guys feel that you know you want to give a donation but I'm just here to help you guys out okay that's all right Okay, so who was up next? I think. Let me see. Alpha. Alpha Slayer. Okay.
Okay, so the two cards that I have for you, Alpha, is Judgment and Page of Wands, which means Page of Wands uh, really is talking about curiosity. Um, uh, you you stand you know you stand alone you you are courageous you're curious you're curious uh also tap into the guidance of your spirit guides and your ancestors uh, know that that you can stand alone if you need to but know that you have you know you have backup uh, as well judgment judgment is dealing with Someone is either judging you or you're you're judging a situation. You're judging, you know, uh, something that you feel that you should slow down, take your time, uh, trying to make a decision about your life or about, you know, maybe uh, something that you should or should not go into. Or there could either be a situation that someone is actually judging you and you feel like, you know, um, you you feel you feel like you shouldn't be in the position of where people are judging you, where people are looking at you, you know, uh, a certain way, side eye, because you have helped so many people, and you know what I mean. And you feel like it's almost like you against the world, and they're judging you for th the things that you've done, you know, whenever they're not stepping up to the plate. So it, it almost feels like. Um, it feels like you're you're kind of a loner. You know that you have help. And because you stand alone or because you do so much, you know, it's almost like you have people that are not really against you, but kind of like like looking at you from afar saying, you know, kind of like in a, in a jealous and a jealousy look, you know, like like almost evil eye player hating you, you know, on the side. That's cool, Zahara. I appreciate it. So did that make did did that uh resonate with you, Alpha Slayer? Did that resonate with you any? So I'm gonna do one for the collective. What's up, Terry? How you doing? I'm gonna do a collective pull. Okay, guys, so the three of horns, it did too much, actually. <laughs> wow. I'm glad that made sense. All right, guys, so the three of horns, uh, gratitude, celebration, enjoying each other's company, a windfall of good fortune, hospitality. So someone here that's within, that's within the live, guys, they've uh, celebrated something this past week. I don't know if it was whether it was a birthday, a uh, uh, you know getting a new job, or even possibly getting another position, right? Um, but you know what the card is saying is that you know you have a windfall of good fortune, um, and you you know enjoy others others company, and basically show gratitude for the prosperity and for the roads opening up for you, okay? Always give prosperity, always show gratitude. You get prosperity, you help out others, right? You return that as a way of, of honoring and recognizing someone else, whether that be the homeless, whether you've you know wanted to do something for someone that is homeless or less fortunate than you, Right. Or you're just giving back to the ancestors, remembering them and honoring them.
support continuing to open up uh, roads for you so you can have success in your life. Who is that that got a raise? I feel like somebody got a raise or somebody got a new position, you know, uh, in their job. Someone in this group had that happen this past week. Or someone was either told about putting in for a position that they can get. That's what I'm hearing. Sign when I'm going to text me. Okay, Carolina, I'm uh, I'll channel here in a minute. Give you that answer. applying for a new job. Okay, good. Congratulations. I feel like, you know, you're well on your way and this is going to be a door that's going to open up for you. C.W. Goodman. So, Carolina, Carolina Herrera. Spirit connect me with Carolina Herrera. So, yeah. What I'm hearing, Sonya, is, is a couple of days before uh, Valentine's Day, probably around the 10th or the 11th. Okay, I don't know. Um, it seems like, is, is this a person that you just recently met and you kind of have like a, a little bit of anxiety about um, about maybe going out with them, uh, you know, connecting with them and things of that nature. I'm not sure if you called, if you called them, whether you guys had like a phone conversation or a couple of phone conversations and you're just waiting on them, um, to get back in, is it to get back in town or, to come back from some type of a trip, they they went away and they're and you're waiting on a text or something of that nature. That's what it feels like. I don't feel like it's 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 a relationship that has lasted a while. I feel like this is something that's new. You can let me know in the comments. Miss Buffalo, how you doing? Appreciate your further follow. Larry Clark, what's going on? So guys, hit hit the screen, hit the screen, double tap the screen for the hearts. And let people know that I'm on. I'll be on here for about maybe 25 more minutes. If anybody would like would like a reading. They are donation based, and I did put my uh Cash app up there if you guys would like to donate. Hey, Mallory, how you doing? Hanging out, laying down. So much pain, laugh out loud. Miss Buffalo, I hear that. 
I was getting ready to say, it feels like somebody is going through a sickness. I don't know whether someone has the flu, uh, possibly COVID, but they've been feeling bad for about a week or so. Um, it feels like this person has been throwing up, you know, vomiting, as well as kind of like running a fever, either a fever or a headache. better. I think someone is doing witchcraft against me and I don't know who. Hope you are good. Yes, I'm doing very good, Mallory. Why would you say that you think somebody is doing witchcraft against you? To me, I think I think we we think that almost the worst possible thing whenever, you know, something is not going our way. So what, what would make you think that someone is trying to do witchcraft against you? So feel four one, feel four one. You said, "Will you find love soon?" Okay, uh, Fee, I feel like, I feel like uh, your spirit, guys, is kind of, has kind of have you, uh, they, like you're taking a break. They want you to take a break because they want you to get to know yourself. I, I feel like you've been in relationships in the past and you've been honoring others you've been doing a lot for others in in past relationships that spirit just wants you to uh love on yourself in this in this season spirit wants you to love on yourself give attention to yourself you know do things for yourself get to know you and exactly like what you want in life because it's almost like you're 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 the type of person that's a um that's a giver and you like to please people and spirit wants you to really like because it, it almost feels like you're being used because you do so much for people and because you you do it out of the kindness of your heart but they take advantage of that and so spirit wants you to know what it's like to love on you and to get to know yourself and therefore, whenever you do that, your energy will match the person that you're looking, you know, that you're looking to be in a relationship with. But right now it's not matching because you're vibrating high, but you seem to uh, um, attract those that are vibrating lower than you are. You know, they're, they're looking for someone to just cater to them and for them not to reciprocate anything that you're doing for them if that makes sense. So right now, I would say you're not going to find love right now because spirit is kind of allowing you to be, you know, in your own space for you to learn to love you. If that makes sense. That's what my spirit team is saying. Mallory, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I think it, there's a lot of people going through that this season. You know? And I, I feel like even like for people that celebrate the holidays, Valentine's Day is not going to be a day that a lot of people like. Usually people, they will go out and do something big. They will go out and do romantic stuff. 
this year, people are going to be more so like to themselves, even the ones that are, you know, they're in relationships or in marriages. They're they're going to be doing things more so from home, not out in the streets as much, but just kind of like enjoying themselves. Right. And, and enjoying their their health, enjoying, you know, being together. And not so much trying to go out and 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 do so much for each other out, you know, out and about. That's what this year is about. It's about really getting to learn to love each other more so than showing how much you love each other. Getting to learn, getting to, you know, it's, it's almost like the dating scene again. Instead of, you know, you being in a relationship for a long period of time. You know, you going out doing something extravagant and nice for one another. It's like staying at home, having a nice dinner, having some wine and just talking and just, you know, making plans and enjoying one another. That's what I feel like this this Valentine's Day is going to be for people who celebrate it. Do I do general readings? Do you do general no love? Yes, I do general no love, Miss Miss Buffalo. Would you like a... a a reading as well. Sylvia, should you trust Fred? Hmm. Sylvia, my intuition is saying, no, don't trust Fred. The reason being is because this is like the second or third time. Um, I don't know if there was missed phone calls. I don't know if there was uh, uh, misreadings that maybe you feel like he should have picked up on on something and he didn't and you're trying to like decide whether to trust him or not or whether to give him a second chance it's almost like he. it's almost like he's not in it to win it but he's in it to see just how far he can get with you you know what I mean meaning that just just be careful and watch yourself and, and take your time. I wouldn't trust him right away. I, I would see how serious he is, you know, and, and, and trying to say that he's changed because it feels like he's done something and he, he he's telling you that, you know, things are different. I changed, you know, give me another chance. Okay, no problem. Just take your time. I feel like he'll be there if he's if he's serious about that he's changed. But I don't feel that you should go right into it right away because it's almost like uh, um, there hasn't been a lot of time since this has happened before. And so just just take your time. Michelle, be general no love. OK, uh, Miss Buffalo, give me a, give me a second. Miss Buffalo, do you have any children? Or oh, Michelle, should I call you Michelle? Michelle, do you have any children? One, do you know if they're a witch child or do they already have a grandson? Son, no babies. The reason I ask. You see what that's what that's showing. So I don't know if that's down the road or what. I 
don't know if that's down the road or what, but I feel like temperament, temperaments, right? Kind of like looking back, looking back at, you know, what you've, what you've done, what you've created, what you've nourished. And I feel like, you know, you're going to, you're going to find joy. <laughs> Be nice for him. Yeah. So is, is he married or is he like in a relationship? I don't know why I feel so strongly about this. Let me maybe get some clarity. Moderation, attentive care, desire to bring balance. But this, you know what this could also mean? This could also mean that take things in moderation uh, attentive care, desire to bring balance, restoration. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like you, 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 you need to restore some things like in your life. It's almost like your life has gotten kind of like, um, like restore balance i feel like your 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 streamline and focus on doing something and you're not creating that balance like you're not having fun you're not really enjoying life to the fullest um this could also be that um I don't know if if you are not you're, you're possibly not looking for love, but you're kind of like feeling like like you're like it's almost like it, this could be that you're birthing something. It could feel like you're birthing like you're birthing something. It could be an idea. It could be uh, uh, like maybe you taking care of your. Uh, uh, elderly, elderly people. It could be a friend, it could be a family member. It could be, you know, your parents, but you haven't created that balance yet. You feel it's almost like you're doing everything for someone else, but you haven't uh, restored your life, created that balance. You're not having fun. Can't do anything because my back's so bad. Yeah. And so... <clears throat> So it's almost like, you know, you you, you need, um, I don't know if therapy would help for your back or it's to the point to where you possibly, you know, need surgery or need something. But it's like, like you said, it's like you're, you, you're, you're restrained from doing things that you used to do or that you want to do. And you kind of feel just like, like almost like giving up, you know what I mean? Like you, you need a jolt in your life. You need it to be, you know, like get a fire started again in you. And you, and you, and it's almost like you feel helpless. You know what I mean? But I would say just have faith, have faith, know that whatever is going on with you, you know, take your time. You may not be able to do the things that you used to do, but be grateful for your life. Be grateful for uh, 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 your uh, the health that you do have. That you're, you know, and and then think of the things that you can do that don't require you to do as much because you have restrictions with your back. You know what I mean? Think of some things that you can do to occupy your time. Okay. Because I feel like you're kind of getting bored and you're kind of like just wanting to give up because because you have restrictions with your back. But think, you know, start thinking of some things that you would enjoy, some things that you would like to do that don't require you to be as active. But, you know, you, you can do them to to kind of like re, re, uh, get get a, a fresh start, you know. 
And my thing was like, for me, I kind of felt like that. And what gave me that jolt is like really meditating. And then once I meditated and I opened myself up, you know, to spirit to guide me and give me instruction, you know, I just started having dreams and then I started writing. And from recording my dreams, I was able to write a book and that kind of rejuvenated me. And now, you know, I'm, I've wrote my, I've just finished writing my third book in December. You know what I mean? So I kind of felt like that gave me a fresh start. So you just got to be creative in your thoughts and, and the things that, that, you know, you haven't challenged yourself yet. You need to challenge yourself to do something new that will kind of give you that, that fresh start. So hopefully that'll help you. All right, I got time for one more reading, guys. <laughs> yep. I appreciate that. And by the way, you can find my book on Amazon as well. This is this is how it looks. Yeah, meditation helps out a lot. It's called War Against Humanity, The Adventure to the Emerald Green Stone. And you can find that on Amazon, okay? So I feel like I'm growing as an author. I'm learning, you know, I'm discovering different aspects about myself that I'm starting to explore. And uh, it's fun. So Deanna, Deanna. Okay, let me go ahead and give you a reading, Deanna. So, Deanna, Oops, words. It's like, so Deanna, you got the four of shields and then you got the eight of wands. Okay, so the four of shields is Hold on to the past, hoard resources, power struggles, taking on a new position, defending your rights. Okay. So what it what it seems like in this picture is something that's going on with you, uh, with your past, you've decided to let it go and not really hold on to the past, you've actually lit a flame to your past. You know what I mean? Like you're you're on safe ground, right? You've you've um, kind of walked away from the old and on looking to the new. Um, you know, you, you've had power struggles, but you're taking a new position and you're defending who you are and who you want. You know, the things that you like, you're no longer settling. OK. And the eight of wands is an act of bravery. Harness your power. Take action. Set uh, time to set intentions and change is coming. Right. So th these cards, they go along with each other. Right. Because you, you've set a fire to your old ways, to your old habits, to the things that you once held, held on to. And now you're looking at it saying, I'm looking for a new territory, new ground to establish. I'm confident and I'm grateful for giving up those things of the past. Right. And so this right here is saying, hey, you know, you've got new things ahead of you. Be courageous. Know that you've made the right decision. Right. Have faith and hold on. Right. Because help is coming. Because it's like that when, when you give up things of the past, whenever you give up your old ways, a lot of times what stops us from moving forward and what stops us from having success is we're holding on to those things that spirit wants us to give up. 
So we're not able to clear our path and see our future or see what spirit has for us, the prosperity, the new job, the new relationship, um, um, you know, your way in life, you know, the things that you truly want in life. You can't see that for the thing that is foul and that has been preventing you from moving forward and you feel stuck, but you're holding on to something that's so comfortable, but it's keeping you stagnant, you know? So spirit is saying, light a flame to it, let it go. Don't worry about it. Seek new land, seek new territory, and I will bless you. I will be there to help you. But you have to let go of the old things first. That's keeping you bound up. All right. So hopefully that made sense. Did that make sense to you and what you what you're possibly going through? Right, Deanna, you're welcome. No problem. So, guys, don't forget the link in my bio. Uh, if you click on my profile, the link in my bio will take you to my Patreon page. Uh, in my Patreon page, guys, I'm sharing so much information uh, about meditation, about mindset, about ways to relax, uh, how to have success in your life. Um, how to start anew and restore your life. You know what I mean? Um, I share so much information in there. Guys, I'm a psychic medium as well as a uh, self-published author um, as well as uh, a podcast host. So a lot of things I share in my Patreon, uh, uh, you guys can follow my podcast on there and get uh, certain um, interviews that I've done on my podcast. Uh, I just share so much of my Patreon. So definitely click on the link and follow me on Patreon, guys. All right. So with, with saying that, I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for allowing me to read you. And remember, make sure that you always give back, guys. Give back. If you're blessed, if you're feeling blessed, always give back. And the Most High will supply you with more than you can ever stand. All right. So love you guys and we'll see you later.